one of three teenagers still in the hospital after a golf cart crash inside a gated Western community. And that teen is reportedly the son of Cuban-American actor William Levy. And now we're hearing from that boy's coach. Local 10's Laren Livingston is live in Hollywood with this exclusive report for us tonight. Laren. Yeah, that young man's injuries were perceived to be so detrimental that he was actually flown initially to the hospital. Thankfully, his injuries aren't as bad as initially thought. He's still hospitalized, and of course, his very famous parents are very much grateful this afternoon. Hey, we're, we're on the road. We flipped the golf cart. I'm getting you help, okay? Stay on the line with me. Hold on. Okay, please. Video and photos show what led up to the 911 call you're hearing. Where's, where's my phone? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Stay on the line. Why did I do this? On the way to you, okay? Oh. Don't hang up until they're with I'm you. I'm so sorry. Is anyone trapped or pinned? Yes, actually. Deputies say 14-year-old Christopher Levy was pinned under that electric golf cart when it rolled near Lake Ridge Lane Sunday afternoon in Weston. They say he suffered major injuries to his knees and was flown to the hospital. Levy was driving the cart, apparently took a turn too fast. Two other teens, 13 and 14, were thrown from the golf cart. Medics rushed those two girls to the hospital. Oh my gosh! My parents are going to be so mad at me. This photo appears to show the owner of the golf cart on scene, former Major League Baseball player Rafael Furcal, a family friend. Just over his shoulder appear to be Christopher's parents, William Levy and Elizabeth Gutierrez, after that crash. Both famous telenovela stars, William Levy wants a competitor on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. They're, they're very sad for what happened is their son. Marcel Castaneda is one of Chris's baseball coaches at American Heritage School. He says he spoke with Chris the night of the accident. Coach sent out well wishes via social media. He spoke with me with Chris's parents' permission. He's very sad for what happened. He's very worried about coming back to school, coming back into the baseball field. They're kids, and, and I'm sure we're going to have time in the future to talk about it. Like I said before, right now it was uh, more support, and we're just praying right now a lot the, for his quick recovery. And of course, we reached out to both of Chris's parents. We have not heard back, but his coach there tells us the good news, at least is in his opinion, and as far as this young man goes, is that these injuries that he suffered aren't anything that he cannot bounce back from. So he's just looking forward to a speedy recovery. In the meantime, we're still working to learn how those other two young people, those two girls who were sent to the hospital are doing. We still don't know who they are or the extent of their injuries, but we do know that those injuries were not life-threatening. In Hollywood, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.